Hey, what's up, guys? Magic here. Today, I'm going to be doing more Danganronpa. And in the last episode, I can't really help you out with uh, any spoilers, because, you know, Adorable Chihiro was killed, and I couldn't handle it, so the episode is really short and all that. <sighs> but, uh, we're in investigation now. Alright, what does Kyoko think about all this? Shook her time examining Chihiro's corpse. <laughs> I'm still so upset about this. I, I, I just can't even. I can't. <sighs> she poked and prodded, going over ev uh, over every inch of the lifeless body. <laughs> You're a very strange woman, you know. Being able to touch a dead body without absolutely no tr with absolutely no trouble. What is she like? I don't know what her ultimate is. When do we? I want to know what, she, what ultimate she has, man. She used to be concentrating pretty hard. It's like she can't even hear us. Okay. What do you think, Mondo? Dude. Dude had a real complex complex about being weak. You heard Shihiro talk about it, right? All I all I need is all I need to, to get stronger. Yeah, I yeah I do remember what she said. I do remember she said that more than yeah. once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get strong that badly? It was. You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. Yeah. I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about all that. I thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't. I can't help but wondering what it might be. When does the count have added to section of walls? Okay. Okay. I use this locker room, locker room all the time. Now, it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But, but why was she killed in the, in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light. She was very light, that is true. She wouldn't be hard for someone to carry, but still. I still think she came here on her own by choice. What, what makes you say that? She'd been talking a lot. She, she, yeah, she'd been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around two in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Hino or myself are usually in the locker room during that during the day, so she probably was avoiding it, avoiding it then. Avoiding it. Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can, I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. Yeah, and instead, and instead, she came here to exercise in the middle of the night. However, night, perhaps. But it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. You're saying she could have been come here in the middle of the night, trained in secret, but that she also would have would have come with someone else. It's a possibility, I think. Sakura's account doesn't add the truth about section here. No, I believe it is time for us to move on. Huh? Already? N new clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. Th that's true, but let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. He he's so pushy. I got caught up. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. Oh boy. Ah, so this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation. Figure, figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? Right. What all can I look at? If I remember it, this, key, this card, this card reader is meant to work with our handbook, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? So, if so, you should take uh, it up with Monokuma. He said that, then quickly, sharply clapped, clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? You called for me? Has he been domesticated? That's right. It seems that Makoto. Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure. What's up? Um. Well, it's just about the card reader. Yeah. This card reader. Yes. The card. Yes. The card readers have all been designed to interface with each of your e-handbooks. You can. You can only enter the girl. The locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlo unlocked. Correct. Undoing. If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, a ceiling-mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Hmm. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course! Correctly correct. 
Yes, so then. That means only girls can go in the lo girls' locker room, and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey, Makoto. I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you. Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Shiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to so get in, in there. Words, As such, the killer must be one of, one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But, but am I wrong? You should play, pay closer attention, attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you this enti the entire time. Loaning, loaning your ear e handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning. The handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. <laughs> I would expect nothing less from the prod prodig prodig prodigal son of the noble Togami family. So you managed to sniff snow the hall in the re regulation. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the screen? Why is it... Why is it like... Wait, no, knowing you, I would bet you, cr you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more. <laughs> Why is it going automatically? Oh, no, I have it in auto mode. How do I... Yep. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold wait, hold on. You're saying that it's lo that's loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone else, there must be something else to do. Okay, I fixed it. Okay. There must seem there means someone else someone would have to loan it, so uh Why you? So sl so sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byakuya and get your poop together. Be or else I'll charge you with criminal the Negligence. I can't say words today. I apologize. No more questions. Figure it out the rest rest your da your own damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking your mental faculties. So I'll fi I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? Uh, that'll help you understand what's going on. Here you head around other people, okay. Why would this be important? He came to the main hall. So what are you looking for here? So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I figured out for myself? Okay. Talking about a block condition seems like one like a machine. Uh Korean's camera and what can I only say is the gun attached to it. It's so chilling. Can I say the same thing? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, anything in here? There's a mailbox here. Can there be something inside? It's an e-handbook. No wait, there's three of them, but what are they doing here? So you finally found them, huh? Did you know about these are here, Byakuya? I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. Seems it's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Beyond, and Sayaka? You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. Immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and what and I did. <sighs> of course, it's going to be Sayaka. You're right. This is Sayaka's handbook. <laughs> now, do you understand? There's this is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should be to the regulation. Prohibited. Only the act of loaning is prohibited. Strictly prohibited. Borrowing someone else is perfectly fine. Well, if they're dead, it's not really borrowing it. Uh, um, I see. Yeah, now I understand. What? Hmm? Hold on a second. Very What's wrong? Strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. The only one that could be on is Milan's. The Leon's, right? It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens, dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. Hey, the memory, the memory came of it came floating back. Don't feel bad for him. The cruel punishment, which led to Leon's death, the execution that, that the mastermind con concocted, conco concocted. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. A cruel, heartless death. I don't know. I, th I think he, I think he deserved it, honestly. You're right, you're right. It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during the, that kind of assault. Damn it! Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! What? what? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal. There's no way it would break that, break that easily. But it did. That's if I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure and it's waterproofed up to 100 meters, okay? 
I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it it wouldn't do crap. Oh, but uh, even my amazing handbook does have one single weak point. It does? I can't hear you. Right, but it's a secret. I wouldn't want you want you to go breaking any more handbooks. What? Then Leon must have broken it somehow without reali realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm. hmm. Hard to say. You know what? I think. You know what? I think this. I think this ha handbook sh actually isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging there, Monica went to What just happened? No, it was not broken, but it's undeniable fact that it's not going on. Oh, that wasn't thought, okay. All I do- Well, I don't see any connection to the ca to the case, so it doesn't matter from now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Broken e handbook has been added to the truth section poster. Okay. Okay, then, should we- we should- this should be enough to get things rolling. Begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. Hmm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? What? What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I, that's what I said. To be exact, not quite. Certainly, I, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then, you really think... You truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Don't make me Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit of this case. Boom. The murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, what? right? There's no... There's nobody else... There's nobody else it could be. Murderous fiend who kills again and again with using a bizarre, brutal method. It, yeah, there's like a ghost attacking some kind. They're like a ghost attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can can, can can catch up to them. And what nickname did the internet give give to this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. Oh, genocide. Wait, was that Makoto? Okay. Never mind. <clears throat> they say they say he's killed thousands of people, but there's got to be an urban legend. That's got to be an urban legend. S st still, could the, one of us really be demented, a psychotic killer like that? <laughs> You're not wrong to wonder. But words, but words, but words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. What do you mean by that, Priyaka? Okay. Don't make me repeat myself. <sighs> And, uh, oh hey, I have basis to believe that, I assure you, Genocide Jack is one of us. Is there really proof? There's somewhere I'd like to take you. This will provide all the evidence you need. It's all clear now. Evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro. Evidence? Is something like that really... Ah, uh, hey you two. Hey, Hina. Big trouble, need your help. I don't have time to We're play busy, you. leave us alone. I but mean... it's, an, it's an emergency, emergency! Come on please, you gotta help me. Of course I will help Hina, man. Please. It's a serious question. Please help. You gotta help me. Just calm down, okay, Hina? But 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 it's an emergency. An emergency? What happened? Oh. Something's wrong with Toko. She's acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier, right? What should we do, Byakuya? Very strange. Since it's Toko, I I must admit I'm intrigued. So if we can take a second to, a second to see what's going on with her. Are you Don't sure? Don't make me repeat Don't myself. Don't make. Okay, God. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I thought for sure he'd say no, and that'd be the end of it. Yeah. Okay, okay, come on, hurry. Wait for us, Let's Hina. Go. It looks like she's heading to a dorm room to Toko's room, most likely. You're right. Okay, where is Toko's room? Okay, I'm gonna talk to Byaku here real quick. Such You're talking to me the wrong person. <laughs> Fine. I was just trying to see your point on this. Is Toko inside some kind of emergency? Emergency. Okay, Hina. You guys are you guys are too slow. I think you're just too fast. Hmm. So what's the emergency? Yeah. Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we went and left Toko in her room so she could lay down. After a while, we came back to check on her, you know, see how she was doing. But when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out and kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff. That's fine. We should try talking to her ourselves. Yeah, yeah good idea. That's what I was trying to do. Let's give it a shot. Reverse one went uh, silently. Oh, holy crap. An aura of negativity flowed out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? Oh, uh, nothing. It's just that uh, Hina was really worried about you, pulling yourself up in your room. Leave me alone. 
Um, yeah, sure thing. But could you open up just for a second? Won't allow it. Huh? Won't let Genocide Jack have control. Wait a second. And just like that, she slammed the door in my face. But what was that? She's been acting that like that the whole time when I went ran in a ring a little while ago. I'll, j I'll j drive out the killer. To drive out the murderous fiend. Um. It doesn't make any sense, right? I was afraid to leave her in there alone, so I tried to bust down her, bust down her door, but it but it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I, I couldn't even budge it. Toko was scared enough to even bar her door. Does she think? Does she think the same thing as Byakuya? Does she think the serial killer of Genocide Jack really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko is so scared? Whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Oh yeah, always looking out for other people. Is there anyone who might be able to pers persuade her? Hey, Byakuya! You know, I've heard that Toko has a crush on you, man. And it's it's pretty big, but you know. Hibiakia, you think you could ask her to come out of her room, I mean. That's fine. Sure, whatever. <gasps> huh, you're gonna talk to her, Byakuya? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. <laughs> oh, now he's not gonna do it. Byakuya stood there in front of in front of her door, not making a sound, and pressed the doorbell. After a few moments. What do you want? Leave me alone, you're also so, so annoying. <laughs> ah, Bakula? It's Byakuya. Byakuya. Okay, so I was saying it right. I'm sorry. I can keep our promise, but don't worry. Never again. I won't. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. In fact, this door slammed shut. Even Byakuya couldn't pull it off. There's nothing else we can do. Let's get back to the investigation. Hold on. Hey Byakuya, what, what was Toko talking about just now? Something about a promise. What? Hmm? Oh, I have no idea. Another one of her delusions, I'm sure. But, but, if I say I don't know, that means I don't know. Just to let Hina take care of her. Mm. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I'll stay here and keep an eye on her. Let's go. Well, then, let's go. Without, without waiting for a reply, Byaka sped away. Mmm. Byakuya. And I hurry, and I hurried to catch up. Okay, so, uh, I'm gonna end this episode here. I mean, it might be a two-parter, two -parter depending on the length of the video, but, uh... Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I think to Okay, and this is just my, with some, my anime knowledge, which is... It's probably unlikely, but I, I'm just theorizing here. Toko is Genocide Jack, but it's like she has a split personality that is Genocide Jack. You guys know, you guys know what I mean? So I think, to like, Genocide Jack or whatever took control of Toko, and then kill Chihiro, and then Chihiro real- no, I mean, Toko realized what happened, and then, like, freaked out about it. Hmm. That's, that's what I'm thinking, at least. It's it's unlikely. I doubt it. That's what it is, but... <sighs> okay, well, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to become a hopper today, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!